Hey guys, I have some more breaking news for you and it has to do with the new 2021 Ford Bronco. Uh, you know it's out already, it's everywhere, it's on every channel and in every magazine. Um, and the Bronco is available with a 4 cylinder turbo or a twin turbo V6. But, what if you want a V8 in your new Bronco? Well, there might be a solution according to this. Check this out. So, our friends at Pax Power down in Texas have sent us this rendering. Yes, it's a computer-generated image, but they're basically saying that they will uh, produce and offer a Coyote 5.0 liter uh, powered Bronco. And so what is this gonna be? They're gonna have two options available. One is gonna be a straight up five liter Coyote with 400 horsepower and approximately 400 pound-feet of torque. And then they're gonna supercharge it, why not? So a supercharged Coyote Bronco, uh, this is basically what this rendering is, 758 horsepower um, they will basically be able to put into a Bronco. So um, if, if recent news about the 392 Hemi Wrangler, potentially a Hellcat Wrangler, I mean, this would be an answer for that. But guys, um, Pricing, you're probably wondering, okay, that's nice. So how much is this gonna cost a V8 powered Bronco? Well, Pax Power has offered some insight into this. So basically, first up, the five liter Coyote V8 uh, will be about $30,000 on top of a new Bronco. Yes, $30,000. So it's not for everybody. You might be asking, how come? Why, why pay so much money, almost doubling the price of a uh, a Bronco to put a V8 engine into it. Well, it has to do with the complications on how uh, that build will work. I spoke on the phone with the guys at Pax Power just uh, this morning, and they told me that you have to buy an engine, so you have to buy a 5 liter crate motor, basically. Then you have to buy a new 10 speed automatic transmission. You might be saying, why buy a new transmission when there is already a 10 speed offered in the Bronco? The way it came with the V6, and the guys at Paxpar tell me that there is a the bus system, the software system that connects and talks throughout the vehicle. Uh, the 10 speed that's made it to a V8 truck is unique uh, with its programming and its language and the way it talks to the engine and the rest of the vehicle to manage gearing, uh, shift points, torque management, all of that stuff. So because it's so complicated it's easier to buy a new transmission and a new engine and then you have to wire the whole thing with all the bracketry, accessories, etc, etc. So that's 30,000 bucks. And then for another 15,000 on top of it, so 45 total, 45,000 bucks, you can have a supercharged V8 Bronco. Yes, so um, here's a, let's look at the rendering a little bit closer. This, um, this particular Bronco appears to be riding on something like a 37 inch tall tire, larger than a 35 from the factory. And this rendering also shows uh, the ADD off-road bumper. So not basically a Ford bumper that they've provided, but um, this is the Honey Badger series. Uh, also has a razor rack, roof rack, with additional, you know, cap capacity, capability, and perhaps even off-road lights on top of it. Um, so all of that is possible. Of course, uh, Ford has said that they're going to be offering up to 200 accessories on the new Bronco. So Ford wants, you know, to take a big part or a big bite out of the aftermarket by offering parts themselves. So it's going to be a different, um, interesting balance between what the aftermarket can do and what actually Ford will offer on their own Broncos. So that will be interesting um, to see how that plays out. Um, and then um, there's more news um, that I wanted to share with you guys on the Bronco. This comes to us courtesy of uh, Bronco 6G forums. So if I go up all the way here, you can see this is the forum page. Um, they have uh, dug into some of the HTML data on the website that had to do with the pre-order process and they pulled out some additional images of the interiors uh, on the new Bronco, so you can see different options, different colors, um, so a little bit more information. We know all the pricing already, we already have another video on TFL truck and TFL car channels with all the pricing available. The stock 
Bronco two-door starts at 30 grand. Let me show you that actually because we have additional images of what the base Bronco looks like. Look at that. <laughs> so that's a base Bronco two-door starting at 30 grand. And you can see these um, what appear to be simple steely type wheels, but they're not actually steelies. Um, they're listed in the um, in their press release as aluminum um, alloy wheels. So what do you call these? Steelies or alumies? I think you might be calling them alumies now. No, that's just something I made up. But this is what the front of the new very simple Bronco would look like. Um, and you can see, I mean, it's very similar to what the Wrangler would be, you know, with a smaller tire, kind of very simple construction, uh, white and black theme with those alumies right there. Um, so this is 30 grand. Uh, four door would be like a $34,000 option to start. And some of these fully decked out first editions or Badlands editions with 35s, those are like 65,000 bucks fully loaded. So if you wanted a fully loaded Bronco, 65 grand plus 30 with a V8, or maybe 45, you're over $100,000 on your fully custom V8 758 horsepower Bronco. So if you want something very special and you have the budget and the appetite and the will to do it, you could do it with the aftermarket. So I'm really happy to see that the aftermarket is already stepping up and getting um, a lot of other Bronco accessories. For example, here's another potential accessory a concept from Go Fast Campers, like a kind of a neat um, tent, a rooftop tent uh, for the for the new Bronco, and also customized wheels. Right there. So the aftermarket is already thinking really hard about the Bronco. Um, how will it drive? Is it really going to be amazing? We don't know. Nobody has driven one yet. So um, if you're, you know, on paper the Bronco looks good. Uh, we know that all the technical specs, especially the ground clearance of around 11 and a half inches with the 35s and the, um, you know, their high performance suspension. We know that approach, breakover and departure angles are all, you know, very competitive and in some cases class leading. We know that they have lockers, disconnecting sway bar in the front. So we know that the Bronco has very good um, specs on paper. How will it actually drive? Will it spray mud all over the door handles? Um, are the doors actually easy to take off or do they, does it take some time? Uh, we don't know that yet. We won't know until we get our hands on one um, and actually, um, you know, actually spend time off-roading in it and um, doing different things. By the way, um, if you did want a manual transmission Bronco, uh, Ford is offering it only with a four-cylinder engine, the 2.3 liter, which has 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. Um, not, they're not offering that manual, the seven-speed or the six-plus-one transmission in their V6-powered Bronco, the twin-turbo. But the guys at Pax Power told me that if you did want a manual transmission behind a V8 Coyote in the Bronco, they can do it. How? How? Uh, likely they won't be using the seven speed that's offered in the Bronco already. Um, if you tell them what you want, paxpower.com, if you tell them that you want a V8 Bronco with a manual, they will likely source the manual transmission from the aftermarket. Because, well, first of all, uh, it needs to handle the extra torque. Um, it's likely that this stock transmission won't handle over 400 pound-feet of torque or maybe 600 pound-feet of torque from the supercharged engine. So if you want that, that's possible, but you, you would have to work with the guys like Pax Power to actually identify what transmission you actually want, maybe a six-speed, um, similar from some after, other aftermarket builds like some Mustangs that come with six-speed manuals in the aftermarket. You can have a similar solution uh, potentially for the Bronco. So all of that could be possible, so you have that V8 growl and also have an off-road truck, basically, uh, with crazy, crazy power. Here's a couple of images before uh, I close this down. So this is the Outer Banks edition, 
which is supposed to be the more luxurious version of the new Bronco. So you can see those kind of multi dual tone seats, interior, it looks fairly premium. So Bronco will be offered in up to six different trim levels, anything from basic with washable seats to you know this type of more premium seat, also supposedly washable. Um, so they, they will have uh, a lot of different choices and wheel selections, grill selections, etc. Um, so there you have it, the latest news. V8 Bronco is possible if you have the money to do it. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com, tfloffroad.com, and tflcar.com for all the latest news. We have everything Bronco related or any other truck related stuff there.